If you're the type of person who loves poker and wants to step up your game, stick around because we're about to cover some juicy stuff. Trust me, by the end of this video, you'll have a whole new perspective on how to play poker like a pro. All right, let's get started. 1. Bankroll Management. Keep your finances in check. All right, so the first tip is one that almost every pro swears by. Bankroll Management. Now, I know it sounds kind of boring, but trust me, this is super important if you want to survive in the poker world. Basically, it's all about managing the money you bring to the table. And let's be real, you can't win every hand, right? Even if you're the best player in the room, there are going to be ups and downs. Sometimes you're on fire, winning hands left and right, and other times it feels like the deck is out to get you. But here's the thing. If you're putting too much of your money into any one game, you're setting yourself up for disaster. The pros usually follow a rule where they only risk a small portion of their total bankroll at a time. Maybe something like 1% or 2%. That way, even if they hit a losing streak, they still have enough money to keep playing without going broke. The key here is discipline. I know it's tempting to go all in when you're feeling confident, but poker is a long game. It's not about winning one hand. It's about staying in the game for the long haul. 2. Psychology of Poker It's a mind game, not just cards. Alright, let's move on to something a little more fun. The psychology behind poker. Poker isn't just about the cards you're dealt. It's about reading your opponents, getting into their heads, and figuring out what they're going to do next. Have you ever heard of tells? These are little physical or behavioral cues that players give off, sometimes without even knowing it. Maybe they touch their face when they have a bad hand, or they get all fidgety when they've got a strong hand. The pros are experts at spotting these tells and using them to their advantage. But here is the thing. Just as much as you're watching your opponents, they're watching you too. So you've got to be aware of your own tells. Pros work hard to stay, calm and consistent, no matter what kind of hand they've got. It's like they're wearing a poker face the entire game. So next time you're at the table, don't just focus on your cards. Take a look around. Watch how your opponents react to different situations. You'll be surprised how much you can learn just by paying attention to the little things. Oh, and by the way, if you're really into learning poker strategies and want to take your game to the next level, check out our Poker Learning Channel. We've got tons of tutorials from beginner basics to advanced strategies that the pros use. Whether you're just starting out or looking to refine your skills, there's something for everyone. Hit that subscribe button and join our poker community today. 3. Bluffing. The art of deception. Now, let's talk about bluffing. We all know bluffing is part of poker, right? But here's where a lot of people get it wrong. Bluffing isn't about lying all the time or pretending you've got a great hand when you don't. It's about picking the right moment. Pros know when to bluff and, more importantly, when not to bluff. If you bluff too much, people are going to catch on and then your bluffs won't work. On the other hand, if you never bluff, you're too predictable. And that's no good either. One of the tricks to bluffing successfully is reading the table and the players. For example, if you're up against someone who's playing really tight, meaning they only bet with strong hands, that might be a good time to bluff. Why? Because they're probably going to fold unless they have an amazing hand. On the flip side, if you're up against a loose player who calls every bet, maybe don't try to bluff them. They'll likely call you no matter what. So. Bluff smart, don't overdo it, but don't be afraid to throw in a well-timed bluff when the moment is right. Four, post-game analysis, learn from every hand. Here's a tip that the pros take super seriously, but a lot of casual players overlook. Post-game analysis. After every game, pros go back and think about the hands they played, especially the ones they lost. They ask themselves, what could I have done differently? Was that a good call or a bad one? Did I miss something my opponent was doing? 
A lot of them use poker tracking software to keep track of their hands and analyze their play over time. This helps them spot patterns, both in their own game and in their opponents. The point is, they're always learning and getting better, even when they're not at the table. So next time you play, take a few minutes afterward to think about your game. What worked? What didn't? You'll be amazed at how much you can improve just by reflecting on your play. 5. Emotional Control Don't Tilt All right, we've all been there. You're playing a great game, and then out of nowhere, you lose a huge hand that you were sure you were going to win. It sucks, right? And then what happens? You start making bad decisions because you're pissed off. This is called tilting, and it's the death of a lot of poker players. The pros? They don't let it get to them. Sure, they feel the frustration just like anyone else, but they know how to keep their emotions in check. They understand that poker is a long game, and one bad beat doesn't define their entire night. If you want to play poker at a high level, you've got to learn to stay calm no matter what happens. If you lose a big hand, take a deep breath, refocus, and don't let it affect your future decisions. Emotional control is just as important as knowing the game itself. 6. Table and Opponent Selection Pick Your Battles Here's something that might surprise you. Pros are really picky about where and who they play against. Yeah, they're good enough to win against strong players, but they know it's way easier to make money by playing against weaker opponents. If you're sitting at a table full of sharks, your chances of winning big just went way down. But if you're up against some more inexperienced players, you can use your skills to your advantage. So don't feel like you need to prove yourself by always going up against the best of the best. Be smart about it. Choose tables and games where you've got a better shot at winning. 7. Changing Gears Keep them guessing One of the most important skills that pros have is their ability to change gears. What does that mean? It means they're not always playing the same way. Sometimes they're aggressive, betting big and trying to push people around. Other times, they're more cautious, waiting for the right moment to strike. By changing up their play style, they keep their opponents on their toes. If you're always playing the same way, people are going to figure you out. But if you mix things up, they won't know what to expect. So next time you're playing, try switching gears every once in a while. If you've been playing tight, loosen up a bit. If you've been aggressive, slow it down. Keep your opponents guessing, and you'll have a much better shot at winning. 8. Hand Reading – Guessing What They've Got Finally, let's talk about hand reading. This is what separates the good players from the great ones. Pros are always trying to figure out what their opponents have based on how they're playing. They're paying attention to how their opponents bet, how much they're betting, and when they're betting. Over time, they get a pretty good idea of what hands their opponents are likely holding. And the better you get at this, the more informed your decisions will be. So next time you're in a hand, don't just focus on what you've got. Think about what your opponent might have. It could make all the difference. And that's it, folks. I hope you found these tips helpful. Whether you're a beginner or you've been playing for a while, remember, poker is a game of skill, strategy, and patience. Keep practicing, keep learning, and most importantly, have fun. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the tables.